What if today's sky looked perfectly normal, but then something tiny and silent ripped through the air at unimaginable speed and hit our planet? It ain't a meteor, nor is it a missile. It's just a mere crumb. A simple dry crumb of bread weighing just 0.01 grams hurtling through space at the speed of light. From a harmless carb to a catastrophic kinetic package, a breadcrumb at unimaginable speed isn't so light anymore. And what happens when it collides will defy everything you expect. Don't believe me? Let's do the math to figure it out. To figure out what would happen, we would use one of the most famous equations ever written, the classic mass-energy equivalence. Now, plug in the crumb's mass, 0.01 grams, and the speed of light. Crunch the numbers, and what do you get? That's 9 trillion joules of kinetic energy from a single crumb. But the real question is, how big is that? Here's the thing about physics. Energy scales in ways that feel almost ridiculous. Even the tiniest object, if it's moving fast enough, can carry a shocking amount of power. So, let's put our crumb's energy into perspective. The Hiroshima bomb in 1945, one of the most destructive single events in history, released about 6.3 times 10 to the 13th power, or 63 trillion joules of energy. Our crumb at light speed, about 9 times 10 to the 12th power, or 9 trillion joules. That means that the crumb carries about 14% of the energy of Hiroshima. Not more, not equal, just a fraction of it all packed into something you'd normally brush off your shirt. So what follows when the crumb begins its trajectory towards Earth nanosecond by nanosecond? Unlike a meteor, there'd be no frictional showdown. Hence, this wouldn't be entering the atmosphere gradually. It would be more like a mini-nuke detonating in the open air. According to NASA and Archive, even small objects at high speed cause explosive energy diffusion. But at light speed? That's off every chart. Now, let's say this crumb, our explosive little gluten bullet, wouldn't just sail off into deep space. Nope. Let's just say it might be heading straight for Trafalgar Square in the heart of London. Buses, tourists, pigeons, history, all of it. The moment the crumb would hit the air, it would not slow down, it would explode. In the first few nanoseconds, every hit with an air molecule would rip it apart, throwing out light and heat and building a glowing bubble of plasma around it. By about 10 nanoseconds, the crumb itself would already be gone, broken into tiny fragments that kept smashing into more air, each hit making the fireball grow brighter and hotter. At around 50 nanoseconds, the plasma bubble would shine like a small sun. An invisible burst of energy would spread across the square, cutting out phones, cameras, and traffic lights across an area about 100 meters, or roughly 30,000 square meters, before anyone even knew what had happened. By 100 nanoseconds, the shockwave would form and slam outward. It would flatten everything within about 15 meters, or around 700 square meters. Stalls would collapse, windows would blow apart, and birds in the sky would vanish in the glare. After a few hundred milliseconds, the sound would finally reach human ears. A crack so sharp it would feel like the air itself had split open. But this wouldn't be an ordinary boom. At that range, it could reach over 180 decibels, loud enough to rupture eardrums instantly and leave anyone nearby deafened or knocked off their feet. For comparison, that's louder than a jet engine up close and far beyond the threshold of pain. And when the flash cleared, you might be left with a neat little crater, maybe three to five meters wide, burned clean into the middle of the square. It wouldn't destroy the city though, but for anyone nearby, it could be the loudest, hottest, and most confusing breadcrumb encounter of their lives. And the weirdest part, no one would see it coming. Not a cloud, not a trail, not a sound until it hits. It's not Armageddon, but it would feel like it if you happened to be standing in the blast radius. So what happens after the impact? Well, the good news is, Earth itself ain't gonna care. The planet's been through way worse. But the area right around that crumb? That's where things would start getting kinda messy. The plasma burst would ionize the air, 
which is a fancy way of saying radios would suddenly start spitting static and signals would cut out for a moment across 100 meters or nearly 30,000 square meters. The heat wave from the impact would scorch whatever's nearby, tree bark, street signs, maybe the top of a double-decker bus within about five meters or around 20 square meters. And the electromagnetic punch? That could fry electronics within about 15 meters or roughly 700 square meters. Phones, cameras, traffic lights, all out in an instant. But here's the kicker. This wouldn't be a global catastrophe. It would be just a chaos in a bubble. A tree 10 meters away might be left looking like charcoal. A squirrel in that tree? Let's just say it's not having a good day. But beyond that, life goes on like nothing happened. But here's the real mystery. The crumb itself would be gone in the first nanoseconds, disintegrated completely. No fragments and no trace of what caused the blast. All that would remain is a small crater in the stone surrounded by scorched pavement and confusion. Now imagine this wasn't a one-time event. What if, just as investigations were beginning in London, another explosion occurred in Tokyo? Then one in Sao Paulo. Then one in Cairo. Each one as sneaky and just as similar in nature. Sounds scary, right? Let's dig deeper. Let's say 100 crumbs fell across the globe, each traveling at light speed. The total energy released would be 100 times 9 times 10 to the 12th power. That equals 9 times 10 to the 14th power joules. That's roughly 15 times the energy of the Hiroshima bomb, not concentrated in one place, but scattered across dozens of cities. This means that the damage would spread. Each one would blast out a small crater, scorch the streets, and throw out a shockwave that wrecks everything nearby. Power lines would fry, traffic lights would shut off, and parts of cities would be left burned and broken. For Earth as a whole, nothing big would change. The planet is far too massive to notice crumbs this small. But on the ground, the scars would add up. Dozens of cities with fresh holes and scorched blocks would leave the map dotted with marks of destruction. So, what if a single crumb of bread hit Earth at light speed? It wouldn't destroy civilization, but it could create confusion, fear, and deep scientific awe. It would show us that even something as ordinary as a crumb, when pushed to impossible speeds, becomes world-shaking. It's not just the size of the object that matters, it's the speed and the laws of physics that don't bend. Next time you brush a crumb from your sleeve, just be glad it didn't hit you at 299,792,458 meters per second. <laughs>